Hello everyone, Mimikins here. Today I'm going to show you my sleeper bomb build. First of all, I'd like to start off by saying this is not a high DPS speedrunning build. If you're looking for that, please check out my previous video I made for cluster speedrunning. The link is in the description. With that aside, if you're still here and I haven't scared you away with the potential of horrible DPS output, then please continue watching to see why I also enjoy this build. This build I focus on disabling the monster while doing damage. The monster will be easier to sleep, allowing you to sleep bomb wyvern ammo more often, and also easier to stun, giving you more breathing space. Often with this build, Devil Joe will fall on his side from the stun, even before he reaches my first trap, giving me more time to bombard him with attacks. It does require a fair amount of resources, as well as crafting additional items. Farcasters help for quick restocking of items, so save it for hard fights. It's good for soul and can be used in groups as well. Get your group members to bring lots of barrel bombs. Make sure you are the one to detonate the barrel bombs as the bombardier bonus is applied to the person who hits the bombs. Use wyvern ammo to do this, explode for masses of damage. This build is a bit more forgiving than most. I've used builds like this in previous Monster Hunter games for content way harder than what is currently in world. I do believe that Capcom will add more difficult fights to challenge the player base in the future. The ammo types I mostly use for damage are cluster bombs and sticky ammo, as these ammo stun the monster and don't rely on affinity. I like to use wyvern ammo to wake it up because it's good for hitting the bombs as well as causing damage. I just repeat the same sequence of attacks, then return to camp when I'm low on bullets and materials. This makes for a relatively safe kill. This build has a lot of skills. I've gone with the Xeno set bonus for spare shot. Sleep attack level 3, this helps you sleep the monster meaning you'll need less sleep bullets. It's particularly useful for additional sleep since the requirements get higher to sleep the monster. Ammo up level 3 for increased clip size. Slugger level 3, this is going to make you stun more often with your cluster and sticky bombs. Artillery level 3, this increases your damage on sticky bombs and wire ammo. Bombardier, this increases your damage on barrel bombs. Blight resistance, uh, came with the armor. Power prolonger, again came with the armor. Divine blessing level 2, this came with the head. I'm not sure of the exact percentage of proc rate, but it does activate a lot. If you don't like this skill, you can swap some armor and get level 1 agitator instead, which gives plus 4 attack when the monster is enraged. I'll show you that build as well. Flinch free, again this came with the armor, it has some usefulness when the rock steady mantle is not in effect. Let's look at the armor and jewels. Guild Cross Circlet B with 3 times sleep attack. Xenojiva Hide B with 2 times bombardier. Xenojiva Claws B with ammo up. Xenojiva Spine with bombardier and artillery. Kern Legs B with 2 times artillery. KO Charm for the stun. I'll show you a variation on this build which doesn't have the rare jewels but swaps Divine Blessing level 2 for Agitator level 1. This set I've changed the head charm and jewels around. So you'll need Kaltaros head, artillery charm and Sogar jewels instead. I've used the Dark Devourer as my gun since it's got huge raw damage and my Palco D uses a paralysis weapon. D, you look so cute in that armor. I made her just like my cat in real life. Anyways, thanks for watching, please support our channel by liking and subscribing, and I'll see you next time.